Alex Espinal writes, big fan. I watch every day. I read this article about a new app that sells movie tickets in which the prices would vary depending on availability. This would ultimately push for theaters to fill more seats. As a New Yorker who pays premium price for what the rest of the nation calls regular movie ticket prices, I would love for this to happen. Thoughts? Thanks and bring on the filthy. Yeah, if I'm remembering it right, there's there's an app out there called Adam or Adam or, or something along that lines where basically it's it serves several functions. One is to help groups of people coordinate buying tickets together to go and see a movie, make sure you get your seats together and all that kind of stuff. And that's actually pretty cool. It's this other part of the functionality that they're talking about that to me, I'm a little bit unsure about. So basically the idea is this, the closer you get to showtime, let's say we were all going to go see um, The Revenant later today, right? But the movie starts in two hours and the theater's like, holy crap, we still have 70% empty seats for this showing of The Revenant. The app would then kind of kick in at certain time frames and say, okay, still, if there's this many percentage seats still available by this amount of time before the movie, drop the prices on those available tickets to such and such a price, right? So maybe an hour before the movie, there's 60% cheap uh, seats left. And so they say, all right, take it for five bucks instead of 12 or something like that, right? It's an interesting concept. And I would have to see how it would flesh out before I form a real opinion. I have a couple of concerns though. Here are the concerns that I have for it. Number one, it could be establishing a model for basis of increasing ticket prices instead of decreasing. Because look at the opposite side of that coin, two hours, still 70% of the tickets, right? Well, what if it's like, gosh, it's still four days before Kung Fu Panda 4 debuts and it's already at like 95% capacity. Let's jack up those prices because it's supply and demand. Mm -hmm. So instead of actually being a device that would ultimately usher in an era where prices of tickets could drop, it might actually op usher in something that's the opposite where we see surge pricing and prices of tickets go up. I don't think I like that. The other part of that is this. So us three jackasses decide to go see The Revenant in, in two hours and like, all right, yeah, because 70% tickets are still unsold. They dropped at 50%. Yay. But Ashley was going with us and she bought her tickets yesterday and she bought her tickets for the full $12. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, that, man? That's a great commercial. It's a great commercial. <laughs> Actually, gonna be pissed. Shit. It's like you guys paid how much for your tickets? She's gonna go to the mall. So how come they got their tickets for seven bucks and I right. had to pay five bucks more? Once again, these might be problems that these guys are already thinking about. Right. So I'm I'm gonna reserve judgment until I see how this is more fleshed out. But those are the two concerns I have: that it could be used for actually an excuse to create a model that raises ticket prices. But on the other hand, it will deter people from buying movie tickets until an hour later, or screwing people who did buy early. And everybody else got their tickets for cheaper. So those are my concerns. What do you think, Christian? I have a lot of the same concerns, and I think that one of the things is that you can just see it. You can see it already that they're going to be like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that you guys get cheaper tickets." But then it's going to go from thirteen bucks a ticket, like you said, to now the tickets are going to be twenty dollars a ticket. And then oh, and then you happen to get tickets now on sale for thirteen bucks. So you're basically paying exactly the same <laughs> what you'd be paying anyway. You can see that happening. But like you said, they're probably also ironing out those kinks, trying to make it the, the best way possible. But I think that the shit reference is the best one because it's a matter of she goes and buys it, gets all set, and then we just like, well, screw it. We'll buy it two hours before yeah, all three of our tickets bucks. cheaper than her one ticket. yeah so it's it, it's 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 i'm curious i'm again same thing reserving judgment i want i, I want to see what happens first before i say this stinks sure I, it sounds very scalpery to me um you know mm. Like that's what, like you, what you said, it could really go down to like, instead of like, oh, save money if you buy it at the last minute to like, oh, it's like, these are all sold out, but we, we are reserving these three rows of tickets. You can only find them on Adam dot, you know, whatever it's called. Right. I don't know if they're going to do that. You're right. It's way too early to, to let, let's see how it all works out. And maybe in a year we'll be like, man, it's a, it's great and super convenient. And like, if you have like, oh, if you have a party of six, we'll sell them. If someone bought a ticket early, we'll give them that group rate or whatever. However, yeah. they might be able to work things yeah, out. Yeah. How does that work? Like, let's say, so let's say Ashley buys that ticket, right? And then she returns the ticket. 
and then wants to buy the ticket, the, the, the cheap one. Can she do that? Well, Ash, she's a smart girl. I bet you yeah, that's I what totally she would do. Yeah, I totally would do that. Genius. Totally. Yeah, that's right? really smart. So I like, like I bought my this. five tickets to make sure I got my tickets. And then go to the box office. I'd like to return these. Now send them back to me! Right. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'll buy it. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? I don't want to sound like I'm crapping on the idea. I I am all for any innovation or new ideas that could create a model that we could see ticket prices and movies come down a bit. I'm all for it. These are just our concerns. Yeah. Let's see how... And like we said, maybe they already have solutions to these... Let's wait a little bit and see how it plays. I know they've they're opening it. They're going to be running it in some test markets mm. uh, already. I think with Cinemark and with Regal and just a couple of local markets, they're going to be test running it. Work out some of those kinks. Let's see how it turns out. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.